Hello everyone, welcome back to Brand Insider, and in today's video I'm going to tell you all about cryonics. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you never miss any updates. How great would it be to become frozen and get your life back later? Okay, to be honest, maybe that sounds a little scary. Do you have an incurable disease? Researchers can easily freeze your body system, place you in cryosleep and thaw you out after the cure for your disease has been found, perhaps in 30, 70, even 500 years. We have seen this in many scientific fictions, but what is the real scientific research responsible for this procedure? And will our innovation ever be advanced enough to make it a reality? And more importantly, what will be the impact? The idea of using cryonics as a means of preservation is currently being used in medicine. For example, doctors protect a body organ before using it for surgical treatment by keeping it at a reduced temperature level. Or even when neurosurgeons reduce the temperature level of the patient's body system to perform aneurysms without rupturing any type of capillary in the vicinity. Or when fertility centers freeze individual embryos until they are needed. Remarkably, this method called cryonics was used as early as 1967, initially with Dr. James Bedford's body system. The big problem is that our team has to figure out how to bring them back to life. The largest company applying the solution is the Alcor Lifestyle Expansion Facility. It currently has 149 participants cryopreserved as whole body systems or even mines in liquid nitrogen, usually at 196 degrees Celsius. The company has the ability to return these individuals to full health and wellness later when the newest theoretical innovation or even therapy has been conceived. According to the firm's skeptics, companies that practice cryonics are simply adding false wishes to people's imagined immortality and profiting from it. These companies still have no control over cryonics and researchers have never carried out an effective lifestyle remediation. There have certainly been many honest debates and situations against these treatments. The minimum funding levels for Alcor are currently 200,000 for whole body preservation and 80,000 for mind preservation and must be paid after death. These amounts do not include additional surcharges or expensive annual subscription fees. The progress of cryonics depends on two elements, the improvement of the cooling procedure as well as the progress of the healing during thawing. The thawing procedure is actually incredibly difficult because if the treatment is not done at the appropriate temperature level and rate, it cannot be done. At the improper temperature level and rate, the tissue can become ice crystals and the body system will certainly be ruined. Problems can be avoided if researchers carefully control the temperature level and use different types of cryoprotectants. Although no individuals have been restored from cryogenic suspension, the researchers were able to effectively restore other living microorganisms from a near-death state. The cryobiologists really hope that with nanotechnology, the resuscitation procedure will one day be feasible. Nanotechnology uses tiny devices to make single atoms work to create or even repair individual tissues and cells. But how exactly does cryonics work? The minute a doctor reveals a client's death, the company the client originally created an agreement with will certainly formally take control. The company's emergency response group will support the body system by ensuring that the mind receives sufficient oxygen and blood flow to protect the little work until the body system arrives at the suspension center. During transfer, the body system is placed into an ice pack and perfused with an anticoagulant, a compound that prevents the blood from clotting. These people usually want cryonics to help them be treated for the problems that are causing them to die. Cryopreservation actually occurs in attributes for pets like reptiles, amphibians, as well as worms. Nevertheless, individual cells cannot simply be frozen and thawed. The aim of cryobiology is therefore to understand and reduce the potential problems. The main objective is to achieve a smooth transition to vitrification and to prevent the development of ice crystals. 
Not only are cells likely to burst during the cooling procedure, but permanent damage will certainly be caused to tissue and cells if there are temperature changes throughout the thawing procedure. Restoring a total body is actually not a simple accomplishment, as you will need to get all the organs of the body to start functioning at the same time. Cryopreserved and vitrified tissues and single cells are currently thawed and transplanted routinely. Cryopreservation of basic body system components such as fingers and legs, and some complicated organs such as kidneys, livers and lungs have been cryopreserved, thawed and effectively retransplanted into pets. Similarly, while individual transplantation currently depends on the refrigeration of organs, and certainly not on the refrigeration of all organs, there is an opportunity to improve the efficiency of transplantation. Science fiction has long discussed active rest or even stasis, or what is called cryosleep today. The innovation that exists today, however, is far from ideal. The clinical expression for this is certainly not cryogenics, but cryonics. Cryonics is about looking at anything that is kept really cold. After that, your body system is actually cooled rapidly, so that you reach an extremely cold temperature level without damaging many cells, if you can easily help it. After that, you are transported into liquid nitrogen, so you are left there for certainly a very long time. The individuals put themselves in suspension for a selection of factors, all coming from the worry of their fate, the desire to live, the desire to find a cure for their illness, an interest in potential, and even the wish to be truly immortal. What is important is that we have no chance of reanimating individuals who have been truly deanimated. The problem with current innovation is that our tissues have a lot of powder. When you freeze powder, it expands and produces crystals, which breaks down the membrane layer of the fabric. Cryonix has a lot of potential, and when it is figured out, we'll see who's appropriate, I guess. There's a different procedure called vitrification. It's when you change the fluid in your tissue, using a mixed chemical drink that doesn't freeze, as well as breaking the layers of the membrane. Since the advent of cryonics, a few people have come to the forefront, but they are mostly accused of being scams and even thieves, since the innovation has not yet been proven, and no one has ever seen anyone effectively resuscitated. For this reason, the majority of individuals who work in these non-profit companies are actually handymen, part-time workers, or even just volunteers. Therefore, when you think of cryonics, you most likely think of shiny, transparent canisters, and people drifting around waiting in a bubbling fluid. But this is not the case at all. In fact, it's more like this. Homemade gadgets and freezers in cellars. However, you have to believe in innovation. Would you cryonically freeze your body? Even if this innovation exists one day, later on it will require many legal limitations, in addition to raising many honest and ethical questions that will need to be addressed. That's it for today's video, and thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to give us your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. You can also suggest what topics we should cover in future videos. Finally, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this one, press the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I upload an interesting video to the channel. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.